Thank you for joining us at First Assembly of God Church in Clear Lake, California. Please welcome our pastor, Steve Schneider. All right, before we have our baptism service, we always want to have just a moment where we just share a little bit about God's Word and really what baptism is all about. You know, there's different people have different ideas of what baptism is, but we always just go to what God says it's all about and uh, put our trust in that. Being baptized is really important because Jesus gave us this word, and we see it in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. Jesus came and spoke to them, that's to his disciples, saying, all authority. Everyone say, all authority. All authority. That means all, right? All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, doing what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's what's going to happen. Pastor Chris is going to be baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And But Jesus didn't stop there because the next verse is really important. He says, teaching them, don't just baptize them, teach them to observe the things I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Jesus made this incredible statement. He said, now how many understand God cannot tell a lie? I mean, he can't negate himself. He is truth. Jesus said, when two or more of you gather together, I will be with you in the midst. I think we have more than two people here. I think Jesus is here with us. And we want to honor him. And that's what baptism is all about. We're honoring what he did on the cross for us. And when we get baptized, we need to ask ourselves a very serious question. How sincere am I in my relationship with Jesus? Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. Jesus is very sincere with you. Jesus absolutely came and gave his life so that you can be with him, not just here on earth, but for all eternity. It's important to know we are not saved by baptism. We are saved by repenting from sin, trusting Jesus as Lord and Savior. We call on his name and are saved. So if you've given your life to Jesus, you're already saved. But the baptism is is a little bit more about this relationship with him. When we meet Jesus at the cross, we are assured that we're forgiven. See, he became a human being to do one thing, and that is to die for our sins. What is sin? Sin is turning away from God. Sin is all the problems in our world caused by sin. People fighting people arguing, people stealing, people grabbing power, whatever it is, sin is right there at the bottom of it. And Jesus came to individually touch people to help them to live a life for him. When we receive Jesus, we receive what he did for us. He had a plan. He says, I'm going to go and take away your sin. Remember, there are certain laws affecting all of us, no matter who you are. If you're driving south, you will never go north. Ever made that mistake, driving a long time, realizing you're going the wrong direction? If you're, dri if you, if you're driving south, you won't go north. If you're heading towards hell, you will not go to heaven. Just a law. Following all falsehoods, you will never lead you to truth. How many has ever been ripped off and you were told that they were going to do something for you and then they took your money? You know, it's just it's not the truth. Jesus is all into the truth. 
Number three, sowing good or bad things will reap consequences accordingly. Jesus said you'll reap what you sow. You know, if you go smack somebody across the face, look out. They're probably going to smack you back. If you give them a smile, you know, they, they'll probably smile back at you. Rebelling against God is the heart of sin. Sin is selfishness at the expense of what's right for you and for other people. And five, the wages of sin is death, which is separation from God's life. And number six, Jesus came to save us from our death-causing sins. That's what this is all about. Jesus came to save us. We're not here just to, to uh, take a bath on a Wednesday night. We're here to proclaim what God Almighty did when he became a human to die for our sins. A baptism service is all about commitment and truth. God is committed to you and wants your commitment to him in return. God is committed to you and wants your commitment in return. Today we're going to look at, as we close here, just two things. What baptism means to God and what it means to us. To God, our baptism is a statement or vow of our sincerity, of our faith and sincerity, acknowledging Jesus as Lord. In other words, to God, he's saying, hey, these people are serious about me. He's looking for somebody to be serious. Have you ever really cared for somebody and you wanted them to know how much you cared and then they wouldn't listen to you? God wants you to know how much he cares for you. He, he really wants you to, to understand that. So baptism is saying, hey, yes, I've given my life to the Lord. He wants us to be real with him because he is real with us. To us, baptism is our testimony saying to all, Jesus is Lord. We are a new creation where old things pass away, including our transgressions, all of our sins are gone. And that's what the scripture says. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Say new creation. You know, I'm tired of the old stuff. A new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. When we're being baptized, we make this commitment. I can remember, huh, it's been a long time. Kathy and I were baptized together. And uh, all the way back, 1982. And uh, it just so happens that's when we were both filled with the Spirit. We actually came up out of the water speaking in tongues. Jesus was filled with the Spirit when he was baptized. And that's okay to ask God to help you with that. In closing, our act of baptism identifies us with Jesus. We identify with his death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead. We are submerged, dunked under, signifying the death of our old life without God. Then we come up out of the water, signifying the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. You know, when we physically die, that's not the end. It's the beginning of our eternal life with him. And I'll close with two scriptures. Romans chapter 6, verses 3 and 4. Or do you not know that as many of us who were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? In other words, we're joined to him, dead to the sin, dead to the stuff that's dragging us down. 
Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. Uh, you can ask my wife how I changed when Jesus came into my life. I was a musician traveling all around the country, playing in bands and stuff, and God really changed my life. Colossians chapter 2, verses 12 says, For you were buried with Christ when you were baptized. So you're going to go down under the water, buried with Christ. And with him you were raised to new life because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised Christ from the dead. Baptism is important to God and to us. This is a very important night. It is all about commitment and truth. As we are committed to him, we are committed to his commitment to us. Did you get that? As we are committed to him, we commit ourselves to his commitment to us. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. No matter what's going on in your crazy world here, no matter who's Doing what? If God be for us, who can be against us? Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you just before we get start our baptism service here, Pastor Chris, dunking them underwater, we're going to uh, ask you just to bow your head. If you're here tonight and maybe you've never really met God, maybe you've never really met Jesus, you say, I don't know, I don't know. And you want to know him. Only God can show himself to you. It won't be with your eyes that you see, but you'll know it in your knower, in your spirit. And I ask you right now, if you have not done that, to ask Jesus just to come into your life. And say, Jesus, I want to know you more. And he'll show you. He'll show you what to do. He'll show you himself in a way that is so real that it, that has changed millions and millions and millions of people's lives. If you will simply open your heart to him. And that's what we ask that you do tonight. And I want to ask everybody just to repeat this after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I believe you love me. I believe you gave your life for me. In return, I give my life to you. Be my Lord and my Savior. Show me how to live with you as only you can do. I'm not joining a religion. I'm being joined to you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. And everyone said? Amen. Amen. All right. Pastor Chris. All right, Pastor Chris. Here he comes. Let's hear it for Pastor Chris.